Hello to everyone in YouTube land. Got another tool video for you. I'm going to go through my setups basically. Uh, and kind of do the, the tour on these the tool bag tour. I probably am going to break this up into two or three separate videos just because it's going to take some time to pull everything out. Um, but my setup as is right now is uh, kind of got this guy here. I'll do a video on it. I know I did a video on the uh, on the tough belt pouch when I first got it. It's just a, a first impressions kind of thing. Uh, I like it. I've been using it uh, basically as my my tech bag as far as if I'm going in and working on appliances, things like that. Um, so I'm going to do a full on breakdown of this guy uh, in a later video. Um, and then I got my, my big boy here. This guy is basically my go-to pull from bag. Uh, basically use it to, uh, this, this sits in my units that I'm turning over. Uh, these will, this is basically my turnover bag. So, um, and then I have other individual, uh, buckets actually that I work out of, uh, that are set up for plumbing or finish work. But this is my overall just kind of odds and ends kind of kind of tools here. But I can get some pull from that. It's gotten so like basically cumbersome. This was gonna be my my do it all kind of bag, take this into a unit, but that thing has just got loaded down and it's so cumbersome now. I usually end up going with this guy. And this is uh if I'm working on ceiling fans or Let's get this back in the shot here. A little adjustment. So this is uh, basically my overall working on outlets, uh, doorknobs, towel bars. If I got multiple things going on in a unit that I got to work on, I usually take this. This is the, the first guy I go to here. Uh, every now and then, if I know it's going to be a quick little fix, I'll grab my little Husky pouch here. This thing's pretty nice, pretty sturdy, still a bit stiff, so it's hard to get tools into the side pockets here, but this is my usually two or three little tool bag that I'll just throw some stuff in and just uh, go do a little quick fix on stuff. Um, so this one hasn't had a lot of use, but I kind of just had that for, you know, quick fix. Uh, so I'll start my, my first tour I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do with this, uh, this pouch here. Um, we'll take a look at the actual pouch itself once I kind of go through and pull everything out. But uh, starting off, my Stanley I got a 16 in, uh, foot uh, lever lock, so it's uh, your self locking tape. Uh, I found this has been a lot more handy for me. I usually don't need anything more than 16. And of course, I've got other tapes, you know, 25 foot, whatnot, uh, if if I need. But usually, I'm just doing trim work. I don't need anything more than the 16 usually. I've also got a, a laser uh, measure device to, that I go to. Um, but I've, I've been happy with this little Stanley here. Lightweight, fits on the pouch, so I'm not trying to weigh this thing down too much. Uh, and then these little lights, I bought just basically a handful of these from a, a local store here. Uh, it's a Lux Pro um, LP130. This light has been pretty cool got yeah so one mode but it slides out to adjust to a more pinpoint there so like i said i bought a, a good handful of these and i've got one on pretty much each one of my my pouches or bags uh as well as my backpack and then a couple of other in my vehicle but these have been handy little lights there i'll go to my my stud buddy i've done a video on the stud buddy here this guy's excellent. It's a stud finder. Uh, it's just straight, really strong magnet there. Cool thing about it is it just sticks right there in the side of my pouch. I don't have to worry about stuffing that into a pocket. So I've been happy with the stud, buddy. I ended up buying a second one, and it's in my, my, uh, my other tech bag, too. Here, Klein wire strippers. Not really sure where I got these. I think I've had them for a while and just forgot where I picked them up. Secondhand or, or some deal. But uh, 
Yep, so any of these that I have that I can find links to uh, as far as where to get them, I'll provide that in the description. Uh, most of my stuff's come from Amazon. Um, pair of side cutters here, little nips. Uh, this is another one of those tools that you just feel like you've always just had. You don't really know where you got it, and you just, you just have them. I don't even know what brand these are, but these have worked out pretty well for me. I don't have to do a whole lot with that. Just nipping some wires there. Uh, a south wire little cheat stick. Try to get this zoom in. Uh, got this on Amazon. It's all right. Just doing a you know, if I'm changing out a plug, an outlet. Uh, the it has a flashlight on this end, but it crapped out on me probably a good week or so after getting it. So. I end up going with something else. I've got a Klein cheat stick that I keep in my other bag. But uh, this does the trick for now. I was just super disappointed with the light going out super quick. It's probably a battery, but I'm not going to worry about it because you actually have to hold the button down just to get the light to work. So got this one off of Amazon. But I'd, I'd pay a little more and just go with the Klein, honestly. Keep an X-Acto in here. Uh, and the exacto just for <laughs> obviously need to change the blade out but uh never know if you've got to do some little precision cuts a little more precise than my utility blade i think i this is probably a ryobi here uh it's supposed to be magnetic there this is more just an extension uh magnet's not super great on it it's definitely not strong enough to magnetize the tip so that's that guy and I got a slotted to go in my impact as well keep that on me um, I went over with these spring tools before uh, this is a spring loaded nail set where you just pop it and pop the spring instead of having to worry about uh, holding a nail set and then a hammer this is more of a one-handed deal I love this thing I went over the I think I got like a, I got a set of these uh, during Christmas, a little four pack. No, I'll go over those when I get to my my big boy bag here. But those have been super handy, man. I, I love this thing. If I'm trying to do some finished nails and they don't quite go in all the way, I just pull this guy out. This is also great for uh, popping door hinges out or hinge pins. So I definitely recommend picking some of these up. Then I got a Pika knockoff. It's a high boom. Ended up being a little bit cheaper than the the Pika because it was a, a two pack deal. Came with the that's it's the deep hole marking pencil. Works as a mechanical pencil basically. But yeah, this came as a two pack deal. It was like two of these and then uh, some lead refills, different colors. Uh, cool thing about this is it's also got a little little sharpener there. To sharpen up your lead but ever since i've gotten this uh the deep hole marking uh pencil i've not used a, a carpenter's pencil uh it's just you get you get a finer mark and uh i just i love this thing i've got my uh milwaukee ink saw uh these are great they write in all kinds of conditions uh, this has worked out way better than a Sharpie for me. So I love these. I, I pick up a couple of these every time I'm at Home Depot. Um, so those are great. Always got to carry this thing. Telescoping magnet. That way you can pick something up. Magnet on this guy is pretty strong. Definitely got to carry one of these with you at all times. Because you never know. Some gloves just stuffed up in here gloves for the nasty stuff this guy here i've had this for probably a good 15 years or so i actually got this at walmart and it's even if for it being a walmart brand it is held up really well the coolest thing about this is uh the versatility versatility of it where it goes from needle nose flips around at some pliers the opening on the pliers aren't super great i usually have to grab the needle nose just to extend it out a little bit more but i'm not using the pliers a whole lot i end up these are my go-to for my needle nose but i just love how 
I don't have to carry a set of pliers and needle nose. It's all about uh, keeping it, keeping it light, carrying as little as possible, but enough to do the job. Yeah, I don't even know if they still have these. I'm sure they have other versions of uh, this type of tool. I haven't really looked around. Like I said, this thing has lasted me for quite some time. I got my clients. Just turn these into my super tools, as I've gone over before. My super drivers. This did not come like this. This came with the uh, my regular shaft, which I keep in here. But I do have other videos that I've done on this, and then other guys like Morgan's Maintenance has covered how to do your super tool there with buying your your flip sockets here. And just uh, I ended up buying this. Uh, that's what it was actually it was a three in one impact flip socket set. Uh, that's what this the blade was. Um, but that way I've got a quarter inch and a five sixteenths driver on this as well. Which that one, if, if you guys haven't seen the videos before, basically it's magnetic. But like I said, you've got a quarter inch driver and a five sixteenths driver. But also the good thing about this one. Also, it's the 14-in-1 adjustable. You've got all your, your bit storage there. Really fell in love with these. Actually, I think my Klein Stubby was probably my first Klein screwdriver. Uh, I fell in love with just the feel of them from the get-go. So, yeah, we're going to the Stubby now. Basically, I did the same thing with that, with buying the, 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 the two-pack deal right here. You know, I was able to get me a blade to go into my stubby and a blade to go into my regular driver. Same deal, quarter inch, five sixteenths. It's the eight and one stubby. And uh, you pop that open. You got your, your bit holder there. Love this guy. Probably grab this guy more than I'd grab my other driver there. I think I've done a video on my tough built. Uh, this is your tough built utility knife. Turns into a scraper as well. Really love this thing. It's kind of my go to utility knife. Uh, I would advise not cutting sheetrock with this thing though, because it will gunk it up. I've had to tear it apart and get all the, the gunk out of it because it, it basically locked it up. But yeah, you get your little release there. Pop it all the way up. Super handy, man. I saw this thing, I think, on Instagram or something. And I, I had to pick it up. I ended up putting a lanyard on there. It's got a little lanyard hole. A little, uh, little pry bar there for opening paint cans. So, yeah. I'll uh, check out the video that I did on this. I probably did a little more in-depth on it. But I'll also provide a link. I think I picked this up at Lowe's. Uh, I'm not sure if... You can find this on Amazon or not, but uh, I'll try to provide links to this. Then my little flathead, just beater screwdriver, ends up being a pry tool more than anything. The knurling and all that's already kind of rubbed off, but it's seen some use. But the thing, I don't even know what brand this guy is. It's another one of those tools that I don't know where I got it. I've just always had it, but I always carry a little beater with you. Yeah, you never know. Then I get another small little pry bar there. I think this came in like a, a set with something else, maybe like a hammer or something. I believe it's a cobalt from uh, Lowe's. And then uh, get into my 12 volt impact. 12 volt impact here turned me into a Milwaukee fan. Basically, it was probably the first one of the first Milwaukee tools I bought, but I needed something more compact. I have a DeWalt uh, impact 18 volt, but it was just too bulky. I needed something that I could carry around with me. Um, I wasn't going to take up too much space, but love this guy. Has four different settings on it. Most of you already know. Most of you already have this guy. I won't go into this too much. It was like 130 bucks, something like that. Came with the, the drill, two batteries, battery charger, case. 
I keep that thing. So probably about a week into having this guy, I ended up dropping it. it chewed up the back end. You can't really tell, but it was pretty heartbreaking. I just bought the thing. Didn't even have it a week, and I had already dropped it, so I ended up getting a drill holster. But um, I got this tough build, which is made perfectly. It almost seems like it was made specifically for this this impact. And I love this guy. I love the probably one of the first things I bought from Tough Built, but I love their system. Um, I'm gonna pull this out so you can see the holster a lot better. This tends to get them in the way a little bit. It's kind of cool. They ended up putting some hook and loop, some Velcro. So that way when you open it up, it kind of sticks and it does somewhat stay out of the way. I've seen a lot of guys where they just cut theirs off, but I do like the extra security of it being able to fasten down. Um, I just got some rando magnet, magnetic bits basically in here. Um, a couple slotted, a couple of Phillips there, different sizes. Uh, the tough belt system, I don't know if you guys, some of you that don't know about it, basically it's a clip system. And that goes under your belt, like on my tool belt here. Or you can put it on your pants, your pants belt, clips onto that, or any other kind of whatever. Uh, and that just snaps down for easy removal. Just pop that, slides right off. Like I said, love this thing. Fell in love with this guy when I first got it. Very well made. Like I said, made perfectly for my uh, my Milwaukee here. So yeah, after getting this, I ended up buying more uh, tough built clip tech. It's the same with the the bag there that I'll end up going over later at some point. Uh, and I got like a little pouch here that I just basically keep some anchors in. And some extra gloves, little outlet tester. But yeah, I always, always carry out of anchors with me just because I'm constantly running into towel bars that have been ripped off the wall. Uh, don't use those cheap blue anchors. Those are garbage. That's what I end up finding. Most of the towel bars are installed with. So and I go with the metal ones usually here. And they just drill into the wall. I really love these. I use these probably more than anything else. I don't use like molly bolts or anything like that. Um, but little husky pouch came in like a three pack. So this thing's been nice. Just throw some stuff in, throw it in the bag. And then uh, just a little husky precision, precision driver. I use this guy a lot on the, on the towel bar uh, brackets that are on the wall, the little a little slotted screw that, that holds it on. So this guy is perfect for that. Uh, I believe this one has uh, your bit storage in the bottom. I never change this out. I end up just using my little flat head and then I go to my other stuff for that. So this thing has seen some use. I think I got this back when I was still painting houses. And then, uh, so it's a AWP American Work Products uh, leather bag. I believe this used to be like a Lowe's company, or you found these at Lowe's most of the time. Um, this one I got on Amazon. Uh, I love the leather. It still has a beautiful leather smell to it. Um, really well made. Super, super solid. A uh, little tape measure clip is kind of cheap. It's kind of bends up a lot. But other than that, this little thing has been pretty great. It's, it's super sturdy. And uh, like I said, that's kind of my... My quick grab bag usually most of my uh most of my work orders kind of just require me to just grab this thing and go but yeah so that was my my first little uh pouch tour that i wanted to do uh we'll get into this uh this other one next time my tough built bag here my little tech bag and then uh and then i'll get into this big husky bag here because uh, that's going to take some time going in through all that but yeah, so I just wanted to get a video out there. Uh, sorry, it's been a, a minute before I've been able to do anything. Uh, like I said, it's been kind of busy, you know. We got life going on, and I hope everybody else is doing well out there. Well, things are going great for you into the into the new year here. You know, it's almost the end of, of January. It's gone by super quick, but uh, 
I guess busy is good, you know, at least we're still able to work, you know, those of us, those of us that are, you know, very grateful for that. Very grateful for the subs. I'm very grateful for uh, you guys checking out my channel and giving me your time. And with that, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.